My food weaknesses, I would say, were chips. I would literally go through like a whole bag in like one sitting. Dr. Pepper was another weakness and I shot up to like 220. Then I just couldn't go under that 200 pound mark. I wouldn't get in a swimsuit to go swimming with my children. I missed out on so many summers with my children, but I was like, this has to change. So that was like my big aha moment. I have lost a little over 100 pounds. All through high school, I did play a lot of sports. I think that fast metabolism and just being active didn't really make me gain too much weight. And then after having my children, I gained the 100 pounds. I started gaining weight after I had my son. I was almost 200 pounds. Then I had my second child, and then I shot up to like 220. Since then, I just couldn't go under that 200 pound mark. Yeah, I've lost a lot of weight. Like, that's, that's crazy. Hard. That's insane. That's that's not you. My food weaknesses, I would say, were chips. Any kind of flavored chips. I would literally go through like a whole bag in like one sitting, a million chips. That's what I used to eat. And Dr. Pepper, I would just sip on those. Like, it was water, but it was just soda, sugar. I felt pretty hopeless because I did hire a trainer a few times. Nothing was working. I would go to the doctor and try to get on like quick fixes medicine that would suppress my appetite and like nothing was working what started it all. I wouldn't get in a swimsuit to go swimming with my children. I would literally wear like sweatpants and a big oversized shirt and I would never get in the water. I missed out on so many summers with my children that I was like, this has to change. That was like my big aha moment. I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to be healthier for my children, keep up with their like after school activities or any outdoor family outings that we would do. So then after being 100 pounds overweight for like five years of my life, I was fed up and then got BSG surgery. The recovery after BSG surgery was a little painful at first and just not eating any solid foods for the first two weeks was the worst. Um, I think just the mental aspect of you can only eat so much was the hard part. Cause yeah, I couldn't even finish a hard boiled egg when I could start eating again. And it was like mind blowing to me. VSG was just a weight loss tool. I wouldn't say that it was the easy way out because um, I think you still have to put in effort. I already got my stomach cut once. I can't do it again. So you get one chance, don't mess it up. Something my doctor said was don't drink your calories. So I literally just get a green tea with sugar-free coconut flavoring. For snacks, I just like the crunchy with the saltiness. So instead of potato chips, I do like cucumbers with salt and lime and things like that. I've maintained my healthy lifestyle after weight loss surgery by eating healthier, um, going to the gym. I hired a trainer. I go work out four times a week and do cardio three days out of that. Some of the workouts I do at the gym are deadlifts, hip thrusts, lat pull downs. I do a lot of weightlifting and then 30 minutes of cardio, usually three times a week. I have lost a little over 100 pounds. Moving forward with my weight loss journey, I kind of want to do like a bodybuilding show. That's like a good goal for me to just keep motivated and just being more active with my children for sure. Just basketball practice, cheerleading, dance, things like that. I literally filled this whole thing out. And I feel like it's way longer now too because it's like not even staying on. My advice for anyone on a weight loss journey right now would be to not compare yourself with anyone else or your journey to anyone else's.